In this video, we are going to see another example of a prime implicant method, the screen McLaughlin method. Now, let us take this equation, uh, the sum of product equation. So, the min terms, these are all the following min terms 1, 3, 4, 6, 9, 11, 12, and 14. Now, we will represent this uh, since there are four variables, if I find four variables there, as we have seen, when it, when it is above 7, that is from 8 itself. 8 to 15, you, you, you can represent it only with the four variables. So now this consists of four variables. Let us represent them as W, X, Y, and Z. So uh, you have to write the tabular, uh, you have to write it in a tabular method. So first we'll see these are all the min terms and the respective binary number. Okay, so let us write W, X, Y, Z here, the variables, and then we'll represent the values. Okay, so here, here itself we have grouped according to the number of ones in the binary number. So the first group here we have from since there is no zero. So if it is there only, we will include that here one. So start from one. So it consists of only one one in it. So the next one we have to take the another if, if there is anything else which is having one in its binary number representation. If you take, if you write three here, it will consist of two ones. So it should not be considered in the uh, group where we have, we'll, rep, we'll write with only one one in it, single one. Whereas if you say that four is having only one, in its binary number of percentage. So these two are grouped together and form as one group. So the next group, we form those who are having two ones in their binary number. So if you see that three is having two ones and six is having two ones, nine, and then 12. All these things have two ones in this. So this forms another group. Then the next one is 11 and 14. This has three ones. So those are all grouped as a third group. So likewise, we group the numbers. Then we have to find the matching pair. So how you will find matching pair? This uh, will be matched with this, and this will be matched with this, and this will be matched with this, and this will be matched with this. So likewise, we have to find the match. For finding a match, the rules are such that there should be only one variable changing. All the other variables should be same. This is the rule. So now when you see that uh, here, let us take the first one, one, and then we check this. Here, when you see that, see here, zero, uh, this and this, you check this. So zero and zero, the variables are same. Zero and zero, variable is same, there is no change. Whereas here, zero to one, there is a change, and here, one to one, so there is no change. Three variables are not changing, only one variable is changing. So like that only we have to take. So, and we can represent that with an underscore. So that is what we have written. Zero, you write as such, then zero, you write as it is. Zero to one, you have to write with an underscore, then one to one, you write as such. Now, since it is one and three is included, we mark it with a check mark. And here next to this, it is, uh, uh, we write the combination one and three because that is the pair we have taken. So that also has to be represented here. Then next we'll take one and six. Okay. When we take one and six, what happens? Zero, zero. Here zero to one, that is a change. Here zero to one, that is another change. And one to zero. So three changes, three variables are changing from there one position to another. It is zero is changing to this one, zero to one, one to zero. So this you should not consider. There must be only one change. So one to six cannot be taken into consideration. Then we take one to nine. This sun, this. Now when we take here, there is a change, zero to one. Whereas here, zero to zero, then zero to zero, no change, one to one. So we can now consider one to nine. So here only this changes. All the others are remaining the same. So you can write as a 0, 0, 1. And then this 0 to 1, you write it as an underscore. And there is a change. That is, uh, what do you mean by this is W and 
W bar and W. So which means W bar plus W, it will be one. So one variable can be eliminated. That is the meaning of this. We have eliminated the W. Okay, then W. So and you since these two we have taken, you write that combination. Then and you check put a check mark. Already one is considered here. So no need to put another tick mark here. That is now we have we are considering nine. So you have a check mark there. Then one and twelve. When you see here zero to one, here also zero to one. Since there are two variables itself, there is no need to check the others. So you leave it. So this one and twelve cannot be taken. Now the next one is four and three. Let us take four and three. When you see here, there is no change, but here there is a change. Here there is a change. Here there is. A change. So this cannot four three cannot be taken. Now next is four and six. Zero to zero, one one. Here there is a change, and here there is no change. So only one variable is changing that we can take. So zero one. So we can take four and six. So zero. One and here that's a change. So that you put it as underscore and then zero to uh, yes zero zero. You write it as such. Now you include them. Now you put a check mark in six so that as it is included in the matching pair. Okay. Then four and nine. You consider four and nine. Here is a change and here is a check. So let us just leave it. You cannot no need to go further because there are two variable change there itself. You can leave that comparison. Then four and twelve. So here there is a chain, no chain, no chain, and no chain. So this combination we can take. That is four and twelve. So here zero, this uh, to one. Here chain the first variable is changing. All the other variables are having the same value. Okay, so you write as such and put a tick mark here as it is included. Now with that the first group is over. Now you have to compare this and this. You can compare only the adjacent. First this and this. You cannot compare this and this. That is not possible. You have to compare the next next group only. That is the group with the singular and the group with the two ones. Then the group with the two ones and group with three ones. Like that only you can check. You cannot check a group with one single one and group with the three ones like that. So that is why we are uh, first itself we are separating and then we are checking the uh, the finding the matching pair with the adjacent group. Now we check with this three and eleven. See here, there is a change. Okay, no change. No change. No change. So this we can take. That is three and eleven we can take. So here that is a change. First variable it is changing. All the others are same. Then three and fourteen. That is two change. Zero to one. Zero. To, so let us not take that. Now we will take the and you put a check mark here as eleven is included. Now let us take six, six and eleven. Here there is a change and here there is so don't take that. So next we go six and fourteen. So here there is a change, uh, no change, no change and no change. So now we can take six and fourteen. So write that combinations and put the change one as underscore and write all the others as such. Okay, then nine. Let us take nine. Nine and eleven. Here no change, no change. Here there is a change and no change. So we can take this combination nine and eleven. And here that's a change. So put that with the underscore. Then nine and fourteen. Here there is no change, but here change, here change. So we cannot consider the combination nine and fourteen. So next we'll go to twelve and eleven. Uh, here there is a change. Here there is a change, and here is also the thing. So this cannot be considered. Then we take twelve and fourteen. Same, same. Here the change. Here same. So this can be considered twelve and fourteen. So now uh, put the changing variable as underscore. Write all the other variables the same value. Okay. Now we got this table. Okay. From this we have received up to this. Please don't mind this. Now, time being, don't consider this. All these things are checked because they at least occurs in one of the comparisons. Now we are going to do the next. This and this we have to compare and come uh, arrive at this solution. Now we'll see one three and here while comparing, one thing you have to consider 
wherever the underscore occurs in which position the same position you better take in the next group only because that only will match exactly okay and uh, uh, and there are possibility that it may not match but if you take underscore which means that first one variable we are matching then the other variables just you have to match so but instead of considering or uh, this say for example one comma three instead of considering this with here 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 because first itself we can see that is a variable change okay and then if you see here that is a variable change so this cannot be taken instead uh, see here the y variable is having underscore so you have to check for in the next group where the y variable has an underscore then after taking that you can compare the other variables that will be easy for you so that is why i am telling you you have to first check for the underscore the same position in the next group and then compare the other values now let us take since it is here we go for either the, uh, this and this now if you see this here there is a chain here there is a no chain here there is a no chain and here there is another so these two can be considered 1 3 and 9 11 that is what we have done here then zero so since this is a changing you put that as an underscore all the other variables are written as such okay then you compare with this now you see this is changing and this is also changing. so this cannot be taken as a combination so now what we do is put a tick mark in one three and then here nine level okay as they are included in the matched bar then okay this is over this comparison is over now you take this wherever comes here it comes okay this type of occurrence comes here so let us take this one by one line and three eleven. See here, this is matching. This is matching. Here there is a chain and this is matching. So only one chain. All the other things are same. So let us take one nine and three eleven. One nine and three eleven. Already the combination is taken. So even if you take, it will be a repeating. But anyway, since there you can make a tick mark. I think just now we have seen that. Uh, okay, then uh, for this and this one nine and six forty, let us take that here same, but here that is a change here that so this cannot be taken. Then next is the first one. Uh, if we have taken this, isn't it? So let us put a tick mark here. Tick mark for where is it thing? Then nine. 1 by 9 and this, this, this can be taken. Okay, so put a tick mark here. That is 1, 9, 3, 11. And then actually, this is what we have written here first. This 1, 3 and uh, 1, 3 and uh, 9, 11 is noted here. Okay, uh, so that is why it is repeating. See here, these two are repeating, no problem. Then Anyway, we have we placed a check mark as all those things are involved. Then uh, this is over. Now you take this. Now when you take this, uh, here there is a chain, here there is a chain. So it cannot be taken. Then we'll take this and this. Here there is a change, no change, no change, no change. So this can be taken. That is 4, 6, and 1240. So write that 4, 6, and 1214. So write the chain. Here that is in. So make it as underscore one, height underscore and zero. So we write as such. So now we have to place a check mark here. Then four twelve. Okay, this is over. Four twelve. Now we'll take four twelve and this. This is there is no change, but here there is a change. Here there is a change. Here that so this cannot be considered. So next we will take this. No change. No change. There is a change and no change. So this we can take 412 and 614. That is what here we have done. So make the change as underscore one. All the other things you copy as it is. Now, if you check this, so anyway, this is also included. So all the values are checked. Now, these are all the final values. Now, again, we can check, but how we can compare? When we compare, this is one group, this is one group. So this we have to compare with this, this we have to compare with this, and so on. Here we have the same positions we have there. 
uh, let us take this two, this and this. What happened? This is exactly same. Okay, exactly same. That is repeating group. If you see that one, three, nine, eleven. So we can take only one, as it is a duplication. So we take it as one. And if you take this four, six, twelve, fourteen, this is also same repeating. So we can take it as such one. But when we uh, try to eliminate, there are two variables change. This is same. But when you take this, here there is the same, here is, so that cannot be considered. So what we have to do is we eliminate the repeated group and we take only one. So in which case, we have this and this. The same thing is repeated here. So we will take these two. This is nothing but, see here, x bar and z. Okay, plus x and z bar. Okay, this is the answer. Now uh, we try to find the prime essential prime implicance. This is the prime implicance. What we have found is prime implicance. The unchecked ones are these are the unchecked ones. Uh, here we find only two because we have removed the duplicated one. So. We have to find the next one is finding of essential prime implicant. So, essential prime implicant, how we can find? See, then the previous slide, we have noted down this and we are writing it here in a tablet form. So, here x power is at x is at power. That is what we have written. So this combination for this, this is the, for this, this is that. So that we are writing it here. And in the, on the top, we have to write all the, that is in the problem, what are all the min terms that we write. Okay, so this we have written. Now next you have to write, put the check mark uh, of the min term, which is coming for this, uh, this expression. So one, put the check mark, one, nine, 3 and 11. Then same way 4, 6, 12, 4. 4, 6, 12, 14. Now you have to check for a single one. Okay, single tick. If you say that, this is a single tick. Is this. And this is a single tick. That's what we have written. And this is also a single tick. And here, this is also a single tick. Single tick. Single tick. Single tick. Single tick. So if we take all our single tick, so what we have to do is we can take any one of this. Okay. So and then we can get that combination. See if you take this or this, we take all the, this. So which is nothing but you have x bar is it right? No, so that's why we have that's what we have taken here. And then the same way, if you take all these things, all are single tick. So you have to consider the whole row. If you can, if you take only one as this itself, you have to take the whole thing. So this is the essential prime implicant, these two. And when we can, we can verify it using our Cornoff map. Now let us consider our Cornoff map and you have to write one in the min term. So here one, 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 three, then four, you write one and six here, one, nine, that is nine. Here nine, eleven, and then twelve, and then forty. Okay. Now you can form the quad here also. The quad. Okay. So now you find uh, for this. If you take this, if you take this quad. Okay. So here and here, W get eliminated. So we have x bar. So the first term. And then here, when you take y get eliminated and z. So x bar z we have. Now, if n you consider this, okay? So here again, w gets eliminated, we have x. And then in this and this, in this column, and in this column, when you consider y gets eliminated because y and y bar, y bar and y z. And here we have z bar. So x and z bar. This is what our. Uh, through corner of number, we get the expression, which is equal to this. 